Hello, hello, people. What is going on? I'm Envy Media, and this is episode 18 of The Witcher 3. In this episode, the search for Dandelion is back on. We need to get close to Siri. We leveled up significantly enough. We've got our money up, so let's get into the episode and let's see what happens. If you'd like to see any other episodes of this series, please do check out my YouTube channel at Envy Media Nerd. Also, I stream this on Twitch. And that channel is at Envy Media Nerd. I stream this every Tuesday and Saturday. So check that out. Click the notification bell on YouTube so that you can see when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Yes? Where's Lena? Something happened? She passed away, soon after you'd left. You resent my choice, I understand. But believe me, my potions wouldn't have helped. Alas, I must take your word for it. Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend, the only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed, but you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. See, I remember. Don't worry, I remember. How long are you gonna make me wait?
Time to end this. Has a Should be. I'm so confused. It has no health. Why am I still in this fight? What did it die? Eventually. Oh, what was that about? Just do that already. anyway. Another rave. I, can, I feel like I just literally just fought him. It's good thing I healed before I came down here. Oh, it's the same one! <laughs> oh, now I get it. Is that it?
sword out of it. So. King you off, King you off the horse, thank you. Can you get off the horse?
Should have made that split, but whatever. So fast, Roach. Contract. Oh, well, a night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the lot, armed to the teeth. A beast must be. Must? What makes you say that? If you've seen the corpses. What did the corpses look like? I've not seen anything like it in my life, and I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania from the heat alone? These corpses came straight out of those tales. Bodies buried yet? Where? Orders were to burn them. Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. Can I help you with? <laughs> Search. Okay. I'm looking into the dead guards. Heard you did autopsies. Did their friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help.
Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely. From their adventures with whores. Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. But perhaps they tried to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. Good luck. Well, Geralt seems to make her like he knows enough, but Dad didn't really tell me anything. Come on, right, coach. let's go there and see what it says. Not so fast, Roach. Right, let's see what I'm People, Bodies were found here. Gotta look for clues. Anything unusual. That's unusual. Let's do this. My dad told me what I did. Mum, why won't you do that? Mum, why won't you do that? So why does my dad say the passive floor is the best because it's got the dirtiest whores? Golly, adults are strange. Child's footprints. Damn, lots of foot traffic. Hoofprints, clearly. A horse? Hmm. No horse I know walks on two legs. Get out of my sight. Your every move will be counted and judged. Looked in the window once. They was all prancing round in their knickers. So why does my dad say the Persephone is the best because it's got the dirtiest horns? Golly, adults are strange. Hey Jackie, you're the oldest, so tell us. Just what's a horn do exactly? Well, my dad told me they do things mum won't. My mum hates to do the laundry. So that's what all those gentlemen do at the passive flora. Get their laundry done? Guess so. Looked in the window once. They were all prancing round in their knickers. Come closer. Don't be shy. You'll find out everything you could ever need. All points to crippled Kate's. Empty perfume vial. Expensive. Neighborhood's a bit shabby for this. Greetings. Oh, here it is. The apocalypse. A witch has walked into my brothel. What's strange about that? What's strange is you. Everyone knows witches are freaks, mutants, unnatural. And this here is a decent brothel for whores with principles. Well, spit it out. Got all the same bits in your trousers like a normal lad. Last I checked, everything was where it should be. Heard about the murders? Guardsmen? Many perish round here. It's the pleasure kills them.
tell the truth. The succubus. It draws customers. It's raised our take in something wonderful. I know it's a threat, but I don't know that it kills. A succubus. Where'll I find it? I've placed it in a house nearby. Here's the key. What's the hurry, my prince? It's the material world. Have you come to kill me? Don't know. Want to talk first? Why do you kill those guards? I was careless. Let them surprise me. They wish to kill me. I had to defend myself. That it? No heart-rending story about human hatred for all things different, all things strange? <laughs> I'm not one to lie. Nor do I kill without reason. You gotta leave the city. And what if I don't? I'll have to kill you. I despise change. How stupid of me to walk into an ambush, let myself be surprised. I'll have to lie about killing you. Usually I bring a trophy. Very well, take this. And this, because I'm furious with you. Though I shall calm down once I'm away from this place. Guards were killed by a succubus. Su succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the eternal fire protects the city. Must have gone out a few times recently. Anyway, succubus won't harm anyone anymore. Here's proof. Masterful work, Witcher. And here's your reward, as promised. Farewell. Bad pay to be honest. Oh. oh! You'd normally pay for that. It's a wreck. I don't know who these are there. What happened? Islanders from Skellige. They've taken over crippled cakes. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeeper. Tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loo. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. <sighs> Fine. I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. It's got a cardinal, really. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. 
Leg it, man, afore you taste the wrath of a skeleton. Collect your friends and go. On your best behavior now. Hey, gents, time to go. No swords, but I prefer my trusty axe. Uh, uh. on our own. We're not rich, but I hope this is enough. Keep it. He did more than I do. Thank you. It's folk like you restore my faith in humankind. Oh, you, you shall again. not have it easy this time. Broad friends. Huh. They all pledge to defend Maid Bilberry's honor, too. No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Uh. Yes, for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. Normally we don't know, but... Hmm... No, just go away. You'd better go home, get some sleep, think things over tomorrow. Wise words. Don't know about you two, but I'm feeling a bit sleepy. Yeah... We're done here. Awful pale. Oh, you scared. Weird individual. Hey, uh. Psst. Whoa Come there, here. Roach. Come here. What is it? What? We have a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? We're willing to pay. Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Need some kind of lead first. Any clues? Um, yeah, yeah, he ran. Toward the port. Came out of the sewers. Sewers? Should be an easy scent to follow. Dead. Dead, you guys know that, right? An absent note that there are literally people just killed. I don't want to you know, Mr. Menger. If you don't, you soon will. That was flowers. The folk in this city. Racial hygiene as poor as their personal hygiene. Ooh. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. of sewer slime.
fresh. Take pity, sir. Have a sick child. Even more misery Let's besides. Let's go kill some monsters. Why are you bothering him, you grub? Can't you see he's busy? My mum says I'll turn into a strigger if I don't you ever eat my dinner. to show your customers some respect? The rubbish you offer, well, it's painful to look at. And what is it you find lacking? The thinking Everything. customer will see these right away rags, the best clothes. deals this side of the pond. I'd be ashamed to show myself in public in these things. Then perhaps my lady would care to lift the Emperor's blockade. You can pick and choose all you like, then. Mind your manner. Oi! There's our friend. Gotcha, Horsen. That was five stone with the purest fist tech you put to the torch. Do you know what it was worth? All right, Witchman. Take your coin. Bugger off. Leave him alone. Wonder of wonders. A witcher defending a mage hunter. Next we'll have my stick it up for cats. I'm not joking. Ain't ya? Fine, we'll talk serious then. Dragon Slower! Help from the likes of you. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, maybe. A lesson your colleagues could use, too. Listen, I've lost much blood. I need a medic to patch me up. Quickly. W will you help? Huh. You hunters sure are polite when you need something. Fine. Do you a favor. Against my better judgment. Give me your hand. I'm all ears. I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? School of the Wolf. Ah, yeah. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. So his name did begin with a B. Never mind. To the matter at hand. Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now, I've learned, the building is said to be haunted. It goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already, but you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Novigrad and he's off his head in minutes. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Agreed. 
don't do this now. But I don't I don't wanna I didn't want to do this now, but I don't know if I press farewell would it close it. I'm just gonna have to just back out quickly <laughs> if that's the case. So long. Oh good, okay. So I can come back to it. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How'd you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the mummers, how'd they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a notter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu was away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. Alright. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Let's keep thinking. That seems a bit... Too fresh? Right you are. Wait, give me a minute. I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald, 
Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pervera. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. It was literally like the whole point and then disappear in the play. <laughs> Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? <laughs> I have to buy one. Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? 
awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Madam Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed, though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. Have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. Let's see if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Men outside Trace's house. Not good. You like when I cut off his first finger? We all grow very honest after I take the second. The ginger bitch hides behind the witchcraft. We'll find it. That's good stuff. Tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about 
holy Hemophart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores. Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs, and the churches pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clear what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course! But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Fatso, look who we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted Iraq Emelfart, called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought! <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic! He's a fucking witch! Get him! Rumble time! Take me in it! Me! Leave Lost your nerve? Fatality. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two, over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right? And don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Oh, that's one thing. Sorted. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. You guys really from Nilfgaard? <laughs> We's from Plowing Metina, damn it! Not Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher, keep the peace, make sure no one's ass gets kicked, on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. I pay well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble? Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. 
Bricks could start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Now! Wanna smash some brick layers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know my own brother. Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Slow now, whoa. This the place? Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Need a minute. Very well, but hurry, please. What's the cafe? I'm here. Excellent. Shall we? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. The King of Beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. I just want to make sure I know what it's called. That's not it. <sighs> Why does it do this? No. Oh, I just have to hold it a You were to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The best at loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Films in the first place. Give you twenty five. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Thirty oh, fives as low as we'll go. Fine, we'll take your offer. But perhaps we should. You should go home, elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Tin Boy. Too much drink. You softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! You travel fast! <laughs> <laughs> We seem to be highly under leveled for this. What? Lost your nerve? Highly important here. Oh. 
I could do this all day, this is not getting done. She's too strong, it doesn't matter, man. I could do this all day. First time I've come across a mission that's actually higher than a mission I can do. Damn it! Oh, no, this it's not now. in the mission. Of course, it does. What do we do? Come on! Come on. 
Come on, come closer. Quick! Shut the gate! There could be more of them! Careful! There could be more in there! Follow me. What now? Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Think they'll come back? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait! <laughs> Good luck! Hattori, wait!
Right, on that note, that's where we're going to end the episode. Did quite a good few missions there, and in the end, got into a very hard fight, which I didn't think I was ever going to get into. Check out all my other videos on my YouTube channel, at Media Nerd. This will also be uploaded on there, and that will be on Saturday. Thank you for watching. Please do check out my channel on Every Media Nerd if you're new to the channel. And until next time, I am out. Bye. Chucky.